Hi everyone, I'm Tara and this is my 2007 BMW 335i hardtop convertible. Today I'll be learning how to get a full diagnostic history of a BMW. Okay, this is Louise. He's known as Dr. Beamer here locally. He's an expert in coding and so today he's going to teach me what to do. First you need an OBD2 K plus D CAN cable to connect to your laptop. I'll write out that name in the video description below and you can buy it online. Then turn your car on. You also need the DIS program which I will also link below, but please be aware that this could change over time so you may have to search for it. It's going to take you to this screen here, yeah. and now we just press play, and we can go to the full screen, and now it's just the software, the waiting. Shall we just wait? Yeah, this takes about 3-4 minutes. This video gets pretty technical, so I'm sorry if it gets boring. So this is the main software, it's called DIS, which stands for Diagnosis and Information System. This is your main screen. Now what we're looking to do is we're going to perform a diagnosis. So what we need to do, that we need to go on this side here, and then we'll click it. Okay, so now we're going to be at this screen. Now we're going to do, it's going to select our series, click a 3 series. And now we're going to create our base model, which is an E90, E93 from this case. And we're going to click the green arrow. We're going to click OK. And we're going to select Yes. Now that the computer has recognized our car, it will start by itself and diagnostic. So right here we can see all the different systems and components that our car has. That our car has so we can see how the computer is reading each equipment to make sure there's no errors. This whole process takes about 6 to 8 minutes. Oh, your car is actually pretty good. Now we can see that these faults are currently not present. Okay. So the faults are not happening right now. If you want to know on a specific um, unit, you can click on control unit functions over here. You can select the component that you want to learn more about. For example, in this case, the stability control. And then you can read the fault memory. And then you can see the code here. If you select this code, it will, it's going to tell you more information about it. What's the frequency, uh, what speed it happened and if the fault is currently present or not present. In this case, we can see the fault is currently not present. So we can go ahead and get rid of the error. Oh, so it's been fixed? Yes, it could be fixed, but they just never cleared it in the past. Oh, good, okay. Because like, uh, there's not a lot of people that have this tool sold on the dealership. So to clear the codes in your car, you will go to the delete fault memory section. Mm -hmm. so just click that. And then you press OK. If you go to your read fault memory, you can see that there's no fault stored. So that means we got rid of the error message that oh. was not there. And what's that? This is your age back control. And then we can read the fault memory. Okay. What does that mean? That means that there's, there could be a short circuit somewhere. Oh. It shows us an open circuit. So the circuit is not complete, going from the positive to the resistance to the negative. In this case we can see that the fault again is currently not present so we can go ahead and delete the error. If you want to check your engine you will go to, uh, to the DME. Now we have select a diagnosis request we can check which control we want to monitor. For example motor operating values on the right side we can see all the different parameters that we can get the reading out of the engine. In this case, just an example, we're going to select battery voltage, throttle valve angle, air mass flow, and engine speed. And then that we have selected the following, we need to press display, and now we can turn on the car to see how the values react. We click the green arrow again, 
Now we're gonna take us to the main screen. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a, run a quick test again. And as you can see here, we checked our stability control and we can see that everything checks out. Now, if you see an exclamation mark on the modules, that means that those modules are okay. If you see an X on them, that means that there's a problem with the module. So in this case, we can see that all the modules check. Okay. Okay. And that concludes our basic diagnostic. Well, that was so interesting learning more about my car. Thanks to Louise and thanks for watching.